What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Rel on Demand, and we are back again with another video. You know the vibes, and you already know what we're doing. You know what we got right here. We got us a five guys mug bang going on. You know the vibes. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get into a QA, but it's not just a regular QA, it's a deep QA where I answer deep questions. Not some regular, what's your favorite color type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Question number one. What's the one thing you cannot live without? I'm gonna say the one thing I can't live without, it's probably gonna sound soft, but it's my mother. Like, you know, can't live without mom, dude. So that's just going without being said, you feel me? Like, everyone needs their mother, no matter how old you get, you feel me? Like, you need your mom, so that was an easy question to answer. Question number two. Are you living a meaningful life? I mean, I would like to think I'm living a meaningful life. I mean, I feel fulfilled when I wake up. Mm -hmm. Love what I'm doing. Um, I try to set goals every week and then small goals for the day to get those done, you feel me? Um, just to keep up my momentum and just to keep, like, you know, just to stay motivated. So I feel like I'm living a meaningful life. But at the same time, there's always room for improvement and there's always more to do. Um, that's with anything and with anybody. You can always, like, you know, keep growing and you can always keep pushing, you know, pushing the envelope. So I feel like, yes, I'm living a meaningful life, but I still have a lot more things that I want to accomplish and do, you know, so. Question number three. When is it acceptable to disobey the law? Um, that's a tough question. Cause like, when is it ever acceptable to disobey the law? But I want to say when your life is in jeopardy or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you ain't got shit else to lose. In terms of like, the riots and the looting and shit. I'm not for it. Like, I'm not for breaking into stores and doing all that shit. But like, the circumstances called for it. So my nigga, like, go ahead. Like, I wish I was there. I would have came up. Do it, just you know what I'm saying? I'm not condoning it. Just don't get caught. Don't get caught up. You know, you're serving the time, but that's just how I feel. Question number four. What do you want your final words to be? It's been real. Like, it's been real. Because, like, before I die, I want to do a lot. So I feel like, you know what I'm saying? It's been real. I mean, go out like a real nigga. Ain't no cap. You feel me? I want to die while having sex. I want to go out like that. Down. It's been real. You feel me? Like, all right, next question. What inspires you the most? I mean, what inspires me the most is like, I want to say the fact that they're like, there's still a lot to go. And I still have a lot of living to do, like, you know, God willing. So, like, I still have time to improve upon what I want to improve on. So, I really, that really inspires me. And the fact that I'm still young. Next question. What do you think are the five most beautiful things in the world and why? I want to say number one is just like the oceans and that is just because like the world is made up of 70% water so that's dope. Yeah, that's a hard question though. Um, the oceans, the animals, you know, um, women, women are God's greatest creation. I mean, I really don't know. That's really it, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Next question. Which is more important? What you say or how you say it? I feel like what I say is most important opposed to like how I say it. Sometimes I may not say things in the best way, but I feel like the message is always there. Like nine times out of 10, there's a reason why I'm saying what I'm saying. Do you believe in heaven and hell? I wanna say, I wanna say yeah, I do. I believe there's an afterlife. Now, is it like this place for like evil people that's like burning in fire and brimstone? And then is there a place for good people like, you know, with the, the clouds and the angels? I don't, I don't know. Um, but at the same time, I'm just a skeptic and I just like to think deep. I like to think on a deeper level, not just on the level of what I've been told or like what I've been taught. Back. But I do believe there's a place for people who are, you know, evil and I believe there's a place for people who have done good and they repent and excuse me I don't know if it's heaven or hell but I do believe that like 
your soul goes to a different place when you die. That's just what I believe, you know? I don't know. All right, next question. Would you consider yourself an introvert or an extrovert? I wanna say by nature, I'm probably an extrovert. If I'm around people that I'm like really comfortable with and like their family or like their group, they're like their good friends and like we're trying to do the same thing, we're all on the same page because that's really important. I feel like I'm an extrovert, like I could be outgoing. But if I'm around people like where I'm not really feeling their energy or like we're not on the same page and I just gotta be around you or I have to tolerate you for a job or for an event or something like that. I wanna say like, I don't know, I wanna say probably I'm an introvert. How do you think the world will change in 10 years, 50 years, or even 100 years? A lot of shit's gonna change. I feel like in terms of this country, I feel like we're slowly but surely losing our rights, especially with this whole virus shit and restrictions and having to wear a mask. I don't know, I just feel like the government doesn't tell us everything. So I feel like within the next 10 years, if you know people don't take a stand, and reclaim their rights that they were born with. I feel like shit gonna get out of hand. And I feel like they put a lot of stuff in movies as far as like what the future would be. Like, you know, there's different movies, you know what I'm saying? Like for, for a good example is like The Purge. That's something I can see happening in the near future with about 10, 20 years, you know? Different shit like that that, I, that I'm not okay with. And I feel like we're gonna get there soon if things don't turn around. I'm not a fan of politics. I don't talk politics, nothing like that. I just talk from like my point of view and what I see, no matter who's in office or like who's saying what. I feel like there's a there's an over there's always an an umbrella agenda of what's trying to be done, no matter who's in office, because none of that shit matters. And I feel like you know people don't take a stand for what they believe in and the rights that we are born with and the rights that we like that that are owed to us. Shit is going crazy out here. Next question, how do you recharge? I wanna say, if I'm feeling like I'm drained or like my energy has been taken away or it's gone, one thing I definitely do is meditate and I think you guys should all meditate or like at least look into meditation because it's like, excuse me, it's, it's helped me a lot just to calm down, like regather myself and get my thoughts in alignment. In you know, order for me to recharge, I gotta be by myself. And that's just like, that is how I feel. You know, I just feel like spending time alone is crucial, especially when you want to gather yourself, you know what I'm saying? What part of your culture are you most least proud of? I want to say, to be honest, I'm proud that a lot of people are waking up and starting to question everything, and they're starting to be more attentive to what's going on, and they're paying attention more. But what I, um, I'm least proud of is how we just, as people, we set trends, we form assumptions, and we don't really look into something. You know, judge someone or someone for the decision they made, or make fun of someone, or just do something, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just need to have empathy and sympathy as a culture and as a generation, because I feel like, I feel like love is the answer. I'm not trying to sound corny or nothing like that, but I just feel like love is the answer. You need to understand someone and what they do, and try to understand them before you judge them, and like, I don't know, I'm just not a fan of a lot of things. Uh, I'm not a fan of cancel culture. I'm not a fan of a lot of shit. That's just me. Because I feel like if you're chilling in your own lane, my nigga, like, whatever's going on on the outside world or social media, whatever, that shit don't matter to you. You feel me? It shouldn't matter to you because you... Ah, uh, yeah. So, let me see. What was the last question? If you're minding your business and you're doing your own thing, I feel like what's going on on the outside doesn't really... But it shouldn't matter to you if you're doing your own thing and you're living in your purpose. You feel what I'm saying? So, that's just how I feel about that. Yeah, that's that. Finish this. It's over. Oh yeah, stay tuned for the next video. This one was kind of long. I usually don't do these long type of videos, but like, these were really good questions and I just wanted to answer them in depth. So yeah, that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell so you get my push notifications every time I upload. And yeah, stay tuned for the next video. We out of here.